the birds around here sure are early risers. They're very, very happy about life. She woke me up at 5.30 this morning. She's I was going to take a shower this morning, but it is 42 degrees in, and there's no heat in there. It's cold. Let me show you the restroom facilities here. Pretty nice. There's a shower. Ready for prints. So I wonder how they would feel about me bringing my buddy heater in the shower. <laughs> Alright, so I decided to hold off on the shower for now. A ball cap I'll have to do. I'm going to go do a little bit of exploring while I have a little bit of sunshine. Come back here this afternoon when the weather's bad and deal with it then. So, so I came down here to the House of the Seven Gables and it's not open yet. I'm not sure if I want to pay to take the tour or not. We'll have to see how much it is and everything. But uh, yeah, this is a really cool place. It... So you have all these huge three-story homes. And they're just one right after another. Nowhere to park. All the roads are really narrow, so people have to park on the street. So therefore, they all end up one way. And this is a dead end, literally into the water. They just really pack stuff in for sure. Crazy. I have no idea what kind of tree this is. I've never seen anything like it. So neat. Oh, spooky tree. I'm really loving this, exploring. It's so cool. It's the little things like this sidewalk. Check it out. Can you imagine how long this has been here? Maybe it's just me, but I really wanted to know what exactly a gable is and what the difference between a gable and a dormer is. From what I gather, a gable is always a perfect triangle, and it's kind of part of the roof, whereas a dormer is an addition or basically just a watershed over a window. So I got some education here at the House of the Seven Gables. It was a really cool little tour, but I wasn't allowed to film in there at all, so I didn't. And then later, I lost almost all of my pictures. So just learned that these are lilacs. And yeah, they smell wonderful. The man said that these have been here for over a century. How cool is that? My name is Liam. Um, I'll be your guide on this adventure of ours. Before I get started, I'm just going to go over a few basic rules. Um, just no eating, drinking, smoking, chewing gum, no touching of the objects once we head inside. You may take pictures, um, just no flash or video, and that's about it. Okay. So I got back to camp ready for that shower. I went to the shower house, got all undressed. Turn the water on, let it warm up. It never warmed up. There's no hot water. It was freezing. So, plan B, I'm going to try to get fire going, try to heat up some water, and at least wash my hair. Yep, I've got some firewood. Just need to figure out how to open it. I think I know just the thing. I think this will do it. <laughs> Thank you, Unibasis, for the knife. I don't think that this is what this is intended for, but this will work. Yep. Just like that.
do it. So I got my hair washed. I feel so much better. And I got dinner cooked and eaten. Yeah, 100% better. So I'm going to just kind of chill out, sit by this campfire and read a book for a minute. And then I'm going to get my dishes done and get ready for this rain. But yeah, I really enjoyed dinner. I had frugal RV gal chicken and rice in my Billy and Rhonda Strong Dutch oven. It was yummy. As for how I got my hair washed, I heated up water on that fire in my little pot. I had about four of these full of hot water and added it to the van temperature water and it was lovely. It was so warm. And then I have this little handheld shower. I just have this bucket that I use for nothing but clean water. And you just push this button, and that happens. Works great. So that's rechargeable. I just plug it into my USB, and it's ready for the next shower. Handy little device in times like this. Love it. Always more than one way to get clean air. So I do use this bucket to store spare fuel and toilet paper. So it's not just an empty bucket taking up that much space in my van. It has a dual purpose like most things do. Here it comes. Yep. Dang it. Yep, this is what's happening here tonight. It's gonna rain all night until about 4 a.m to clear up and then I'm going to drive back into it. Good times. That is my friend. A nor'easter, they said. It'll be fun, they said. No. No one ever said that. Thank you, little heater. Thanks for joining me on my little adventures. Y'all stay lost, my friends.